Hey, what's going on guys? PK here, welcome back. So today I got Kevin with me and uh, we're here on the Oregon coast and we're gonna try to catch some snails and we're gonna cook them up. <laughs> I know that sounds interesting. Have you eaten snails before? No. No? Okay. Now, I have eaten them before, but this is back in Cambodia. But anyways, you can find snails all along the Oregon coast and if you check the uh, marine section in the uh, fishing regulation, you are allowed to keep 10 snails. And these snails aren't very big at all. They're like pinky size, probably no bigger than that. So they're pretty small and you can keep 10 of them. Usually these snails are found along uh, rocky shores and low tidal zones and they stick to the rocks, um, you know, to the barnacles and the mussels. Um, wherever you find mussels and barnacles, usually that's where these snails are at. So it's a perfect day, the sun is out, the weather is really nice. So let's go um, harvest these snails and cook them up. So as you can see here, we're on the beach and these rocks are exposed. This is a very low tide. It's actually a minus tide. And these snails are everywhere. Okay, here's a place that has a lot of mussels. And as you can see right there, these are the snails right here. They're just everywhere. Yep, as you can see it, this is my pinky. It's not very big at all. Very, very tiny snails. And if you come here to this rock, there are plenty on this rock as well. See it right there? And then here, and then there. So once you can find these snails, oh, there's a, there's a shore crab right there, guys. Right there, see it? Let me try to grab him. Probably dead. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> he might be dead. He's right here. Yeah, he's dead, huh? That's a shore crab. Now these you can also harvest, but you can only keep 10. And they're pretty small. They're called shore crabs. They like to hang out around rocks, rocky ledges. So we'll put him back. Here's a good size right here. Um, but let's go try to find a bigger one. There's not a shortage of them. There's a lot of snails here. And like I said, the best, the best time to catch these, to harvest these snails is during a really low tide, especially a minus tide. And you got some uh, gooseneck barnacles here too. So here's another rock. It has a lot of mussels. And these are the perfect eating size mussels right here. Uh, let's see. I guess we can uh, pick these mussels too, buddy, since we are we're allowed like 72, so we picked some mu mussels as well. Here we go. Be careful if you rip it off and you uh, slip, you might cut your hand, okay? Oh. Yeah, just, there you go. Wiggle it. Ah. You can twist it too. Twist and pull. Okay, so we got four here. We're allowed quite a bit, but we're not gonna get that many. Here's another one here, here's a good one. Wow. Yeah, okay. Let's see, can you hold this? Gotta find a bag to put it in. Snails there. Wow, there's a lot of mussels here. Here's a, here's a knife. I do have a knife. We'll wash these up later. Oh, there's a sandworm. Whoa. There's a sandworm, look at that. <laughs> Good bait right there. We'll put them back on the rock. There we go. Man, these, these beards are really, really tough. So, 
Got a good amount there. Here's a loose one. I like to get the smaller one because they are less chewy. I didn't, I wasn't expecting to uh, harvest mussel, so I didn't bring the right tools. Huh. Okay. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, this is addicting. Uh, maybe one more. <laughs> <laughs> Can never have enough muscles. Okay, there we go. There are some deep pools here. A lot of baby fish swimming in there. All kinds of life in these low tide pools. Okay, let's check over here. Yep, I see some snails here. Last, yesterday we saw quite a bit. I think it's over here. No, yep, yep, there's some here. There's some right here. Right there, right there, right there. They are very, very small, not big at all. And they they just cling themselves to rocks. You can see you can only keep 10 snails, which is not a lot, especially given the size, you know, they're really, really small. See it? So there's my pinky and uh, look how small they are. Okay, I, I see one right here. There it is. That's what they look like right there. See how small that is? So 10. So you can find a big one, buddy, and just pick them off. All right. Here's another one. Oh, I found a massive one, guys. This one's massive. Look at that. Look how big he is. <laughs> um, put them in here. How many you got? Three. Three, so you need seven or more. Okay, guys, so here's my number 10 right here. Um, took me like three minutes to harvest these. Eight. Eight, okay. Eight Two more to go. Yep. Get the bigger ones, buddy. Okay. These are kind of small. Get the bigger ones. Your last two, get to find a big one. Yeah, that's a good size. Nine? Nine. Okay. Ooh, here's a good one right there. Grab it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's... Oh. Oh. Look at the size of that one. Oh, That's a good one right there, buddy. Grab it. Grab grab that one. There you go. Whoa. Yeah, that's a huge one. That's a big one. <laughs> so, Kevin found a good size right here, guys. Look at that. <laughs> that's almost the size of my thumb. That's a good one. So, you got 10? Yeah. I got 10. So, that's it right there. Not a whole lot, right? <laughs> so let's count it just to be sure. Okay. See this one? This is a really tiny, buddy. See it? it? That's a good size too right there. See? You just got to look around and look in the rocks like this. If you move too fast, you are going to lose them. You're going to miss them. The bigger ones, it takes time, but you can't find them. Here's one right here. Okay, so we got our snails here and we are going to count it. There should be 20. <laughs> so there they are, guys. That is uh, 10 each. Again, not a whole lot at all, but it is what it is. That's a regulation. So let's go cook these up. All right, guys, we're gonna cook right here. A little windy today. So, gotta make a little area for the pot and for the water I don't know if it's enough of course I could use uh, the salt water here too yeah I don't think that's enough so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 
get some more salt water. I'll be right back. All right, I got some water. This is gonna be a little salty because uh, we got like half fresh water and half salt water. Should be all right though. I mean, it's gonna give it some flavor. What I should have done is rinse off these snails first, but it's all right, it won't be that bad. Hopefully some of the sand will fall out when we cook them, you know, during the boiling process. Okay, there we go. Come on, water, go, go, go. Okay, so we're gonna put in the snails. We better hurry before the water boils out. I didn't wash the snails, but we're gonna put them all in. Sticking through my hand. <laughs> That's it, that's all I, all I have. All right, there we go, guys. Uh, everything's in, the snail and the uh, mussels. So we're gonna bring it to a boil and then wait about eight minutes and then we're done. All right, so while this is boiling, I'm gonna make a little sauce, which is really simple. All I have is just uh, lime and salt and pepper right there. And I also got one chili. Well, I got no way to sanitize a knife, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in the flame. That ought to do it. <laughs> okay, so we got lime. Oh, this lime's got a lot of juice. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna break it. Uh. And there we go. Wow. So that is just lime and salt, black pepper and chili. This is a this is a very, very sour sauce. <laughs> but I, I kinda like it like that. How about you buddy? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So we're just waiting for the Muscle and the snail to cook. I never had muscle before. Never had muscle? No. You're kidding me. Well, this is your first time. Great. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's been boiling for about eight minutes. Um, we're gonna turn off the flame. Ah, ah. fail. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. All right, guys. We got our mussels and our snails and our lime sauce right there lime dip so let's uh let's enjoy it oh Ooh. <laughs> oh geez <laughs> let me see this this is <laughs> sorry guys this is so precarious it really is we have no table <laughs> so we're gonna use this stove as our table right there and my i know my my sauce is gonna spill all right, buddy, so we gotta be really careful. Let's eat it. Okay, buddy. So the snail has that, uh, it's got this hard thing on the bottom. See it? Oh. So you gotta pick that off. Okay. You only wanna eat the top part. Okay. So that part has all the guts. Mm -hmm. You just poke it, and then you can peel off that, the hard skin, whatever, mm. and that's it. So that is our food right there. Look how small that is. <laughs> really tiny. Mm. It is good, guys. 
okay. Yep, that's the part, but you want to peel off that uh, that small plate. Yeah. And that small plate looks like it's got sand on it, so you got to be careful. Okay. So for to eat these guys, you just um, get a toothpick and you poke it right in there and you pull it out and you break it off from the uh, other body parts like the stomach you don't want to eat the stomach you only want to eat the um the foot it's called the foot oh. maybe there's a scientific name for it i don't know <laughs> but so there it is that is the empty shell so there it is again. Look how small that is. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> so once again, you poke it, pull it out, then you, it. it the body section and the foot it breaks off really easily so yeah. and then you got to take off that little plate that hard plate because you can't eat that obviously mm -hmm. these are tiny 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 I mean, when I was in Alaska, we we catch a lot of these, but they were big. Oh. Not bad, right? Not bad. I mean, they're just so small. There's literally, <laughs> I mean, if they were bigger, they would taste really good. Yeah. But as I was saying, was I, when I was in Alaska, we catch big ones, like the size of your fist. Really? I'm not kidding. They were huge, like this size right here. <laughs> and when you cook the foot, because um, that's all you eat, you just eat the foot, not the body, not the guts, just the foot. And the foot is like the size of your thumb. Dang. And these ones, you know, they're like super tiny. <laughs> there you go. Mmm. That one was good. And be for the muscles, there we go. And there is the muscle right there. So we got to take off that beard. Oh. Yeah, you got to take off the beard. Go ahead, try that. Oh, it's pretty good. Good? Yeah. yeah. The smaller ones are good, the smaller muscles. Okay, there we go, there's a good one. Mm. That muscle is good. <laughs> so for the muscles, yeah. what you do is you kind of pull up like that. Uh -huh. And then you just grab the beard. Mm -hmm. Oops. I was going to try to keep it inside. So you just kind of keep it inside like that, okay. and you pull on the beard oh. until it pops out like that. Okay. And there's some small fibers in there still, uh. so you just gotta pick those off. Yeah, it comes off pretty easily. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Here, why don't I do, why don't I pick them off and you can just eat. Oh, this one has no beard. I pulled the beard off. There we go. It's good, huh? Oh, man. Yeah. It's really good. And you're allowed, I think, 72. Don't quote me, though. I think it's 72 muscles each, which is a lot. Dang. <laughs> Do you like the bigger ones or small ones? I like ones by this size. Oh. 
This is a good size. Because <laughs> the bigger ones are pretty chewy. Ah. They're really tough and rubbery. Mm. Okay, this is my new spoon right here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this one. Actually, you, you have that one. Okay. Any more snails left? All done? This is the last one. Okay. Wow, this is small. <laughs> yeah, here's a, here's a bigger one. I'm gonna have this one. Sure. Uh. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. That's a good sauce. <laughs> sour, <laughs> very sour, very spicy. <laughs> and here it is right here. So I'm gonna scoop that up. <laughs> I'm gonna eat that. Put some lime juice in there. Mm. <laughs> mm. One more right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got two more. All right, buddy. We got the last two mussels right here. Toast to a good catch and cook. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Oh. Is that good, buddy? So good. Man. That was good. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Um, again, these snails, they're all along the Oregon coast. Not very big. Um, you only keep 10 and the mussels I think 72 or 73 the dipping sauce like I said this is what I like um, for most people this would be too sour so you can uh, maybe add water and less lime juice it's up to you but it's just lime juice black pepper salt and chili that's it so I had a great time doing this video want to thank you for watching and I will see you next time have fun fishing tight lines